You guys have asked for years, hey, what does a great morning routine or ritual look like of the people that are in the top 20% in this real estate business? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna share with you guys in today's video. I'm gonna outline eight things that I do with an agent that I coach who's really committed to becoming a top listing agent in their market. So let's start with number one, waking up at the same time every day, not just on the weekday, but also on the weekend. You see, we're trying to build habits. We're trying to build rituals. We know that if we can win the morning, we can win the day. We know that if we can do certain things in the morning, the most important things in the morning, that will set us up to carry us and build that momentum throughout the rest of the day so that we can have the most productive day possible. Number two, after waking up, we're getting some sort of exercise. You see, yes, exercise has great health benefits. That is immensely important. However, exercise also brings a level of psychological confidence. It allows us to start practicing some discipline, which is what we're gonna need if we're gonna wanna win big in this business of real estate. Exercise gives us the energy that we're gonna need to have a highly productive day. And so exercise has to be at the top of our list. We have to be committed to having healthy mind and healthy body. Those two things in combination allow us to have a healthy business. Number three is taking a cold shower. Yes, there's lots of health benefits. This is not a science channel. I'm talking about the mental game. I'm talking about winning the mental game in the morning. So after we get done exercising, practicing discipline, now we're gonna practice even more discipline, even more focus. And taking a cold shower every single day allows us to build mental toughness, which is what you're going to need. And is taking a cold shower for the very first time pretty painful? Absolutely. But once you start to build up some mental toughness, that cold shower will be something that you look forward to every single day. All right, real quick, and then we'll get right back to the content. If you're a real estate agent, you're looking to build a listing-based business, a business where you can generate a multiple six-figure income, a business that doesn't require you to waste thousands of dollars on the new marketing gimmicks, then I'm going to invite you to click the link right underneath this video to learn about our Listing Agent Academy coaching program. This is a six Six month intense coaching system that more than 3,000 agents from every market all over the country have now gone through. And here's the reality. Here's the truth. I will shoot you straight. This program is not for everyone. This is for agents who value being around winners. They value being in a community of other real estate agents that actually show up, that actually put forth the work. And this is for agents that embrace high levels of account accountability, and visibility. To get the details, all you have to do is click the link beneath this video. You can schedule a coaching consultation, and then you can decide for yourself. So with that being said, let's jump back into the content. Number four is fast. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you any type of advice. But for me, when it comes to being highly productive, if I skip breakfast, I'm laser focused. But when I have a huge breakfast, I'm very tired, I'm very sluggish, I'm very slow, I'm not as sharp as I am when I skip breakfast and I fast until noon, until lunchtime, I can be like a, a laser beam with my focus, with my attention, with my discipline. Because, and there's a lot of science and research that goes behind all of this that I'm talking about when it comes to fasting. But try it, if you've never done it before, you might find you're a lot more productive by skipping breakfast. Number five, reviewing your business plan. So before the day starts, after you've woken up on time, after you've exercised, after your cold shower, you've skipped breakfast, now it's time to get our minds in the right spot. For me, reviewing the business plan has everything to do with A, what is it that I'm fighting for? And most importantly, B, why am I fighting for what I'm fighting for? You see, I'm reminding myself on a daily basis of what is important to me. What are the standards that I have deemed important in my life because we, we, we need to be reminded a lot more about the things that we're fighting for so that when we're in the heat of battle, 
when we're in a prospecting session, we can pull from our why. It's just like Viktor Frankl says in The Man Search for Meaning. He says, a man with a strong enough why can bear almost any how. Number six, intense practice. So right before we start doing what it is that we do to create the success that we want, we are in the sales business. And if you're gonna be a sales professional, it's just like any other profession, we need to practice. And if we're not practicing and we don't have intense practice, you practice on your clients. And isn't that Mel practice? Isn't that opening you up for a whole can of worms? And so we're not gonna practice on clients. We're gonna practice so that when we get on the field, we can perform. How does it go? It says proper preparation prevents poor performance. And the exact opposite is true. We see agents that never role play, they never practice their scripts, they never practice their listing presentation. We see them perform miserably when they get on the field. It's no wonder why you can't set any appointments when you're prospecting. It's no wonder why you can't generate any leads. It's no wonder why no one will list their house with you because you can't give a world-class presentation. Number seven is the daily 30. The daily 30 has to do with having 30 conversations with prospects in the morning before noon. Now, who are those 30? I'll even break that down for you. This is called contact distribution. This is how we're gonna break down the contacts, okay? We're gonna have five contacts with expired listings. We're gonna have five contacts with old expired listings. We're gonna have five contacts with for sale by owners. We're gonna have five contacts with absentee owners. We're gonna have five contacts with maybe a specific niche like downsizers. And then you're gonna have five contacts from your past client center of influence database. That's 20 new conversations every single day. The 10 remaining is gonna come from lead follow-up. It's gonna come from the people that are in your pipeline that you're following up with to set a listing appointment. And so if you can use that framework every single day, it makes having 30 conversation go from maybe what you believe to be super overwhelming to something that's a lot more manageable. And number eight, say no. You see, if you're gonna win the morning, to win the day, to win your career, you're gonna to have to get comfortable telling people no. You're gonna to have to get comfortable saying no to the gotta minutes, no to, hey, you wanna grab Starbucks, no to, hey, can you jump on a quick call? You're gonna to have to build that no power because when you build up the ability to say no, you at the very same time, it allows you to say yes to the things that matter most in your business.